good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed it is. Guess what? We're fueling up the truck. Yeah, it's about quarter to four Alberta time right now. And uh, quarter to five our time. Yeah, we just got her up here. Figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and fuel her up here this morning. And then let's head on over to Edmonton. You got us about at least five and a half hour worth of driving to do so. Let's fuel up and let's head over there. So let's get our day started. Look at that. We're just pumping her right away. And remember, that's liters, not uh, gallons. So, uh, so yeah, let's fuel up and let's get out of here. ladies and gentlemen yep. we have finally made it to Edmonton only problem is we got to go through it all the way to the other end till we can finally make our delivery 
But as of right now, it looks like we should still be there on time. We only got 15 more kilometers to go. And all essence, that should only be about 15 minutes worth of driving, even in the little traffic that we got here. So it's only 18 after after uh, nine here right now. So uh, that uh, should bring us there right around uh, quarter to ten, right on time. That's exactly what the guy wanted. He wanted uh, us to be there at ten o'clock, and that's what he's gonna get. But yeah, this is Edmonton for you. Still haven't gotten no reload though. Don't know what's up with that, but I guess they're working on it. Or maybe they're waiting to see if I'll get there on time or whatever, but... Yeah, we'll be there shortly. And if I still haven't gotten anything while they're unloading me, I'm going to be calling him and... Seeing what's happening, see what's going on. I need to know. Speed warning. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Every time I go in there and overpass like that, the GPS will say speed warning. And I wasn't even speeding up. I was actually, matter of fact, slowing down. <laughs> kind of weird, but I guess it loses the connection with the GPS and then it screws up or whatever, but yeah. We have the big railway train tracks up here, I guess, yard. Here to the right, and just to the left of us, here just up ahead, is where we got the airport. Right after this traffic light here, that's a little bit down there, as soon as you'll see us go around that curve, that's where they got the airport up there. That's right. Now, luckily, there's not too much traffic going on here today. I mean, it's a little slow, but nothing unusual, so. Yeah, right up here to the left here, that's where we got the airport. I know it's not really visible, so maybe a little bit of it, but not too much. But yeah, here we are. Slowly making our way to our delivery. That's right. Way down there to the left is downtown Edmonton. I can see it, but I don't think the camera can see that. But that's all right, I guess. So let's go make our delivery and then we'll find out what we will do after that. We are empty, oh yeah, from the customer. I finally went ahead and called uh, dispatch and they do have a load plan for me. It's getting loaded right now the entrance to the left on or something like that anyways. That's what they were saying. And they're working on getting that loaded. As soon as they got that loaded, they're going to notify me apparently. I said, well, I hope it's going to be not too late so that way I can get out of Edmonton far enough to where I can make her home tomorrow, all right? And uh, they said, well, we'll give her a shot, right? That's all they can do. So, meanwhile, we're going to go over to the uh, fly and hook that's just on the road here. 
and then we'll, uh, I got it. I guess wait for further instructions. In one kilometer. As of right now. Luckily, one, the flying seven, J is only <laughs> one block street away, you know. Rest at Minton Mall. Or may, you know, maybe a little more than a block, but you know what I mean. Like, just come down to the highway here, which is only like a block of drive, and then uh, basically one mile down the road, take the next exit here. And go down there one block basically so so exit we'll see meters. Take exit 381. we'll see how long one, it's going to take seven. to uh, get that Street. load Street Albert, West Edmonton loaded Road. and, then and then that would be 350 meters. awesome if we could get loaded pretty quick we'll see well we don't have to get loaded it's there they got a I think a uh, local driver that's taking a trailer somewhere and they're loading it right now, so I guess we'll wait and see. I suppose. In 200 meters, slide right on 170 yeah, here Street, we go. and then turn left in 300 meters. Well, here around the corner is the flying hook, so I guess we'll go there and uh, the waiting game will begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we do now officially have our reload. Yeah. I am so happy, happy. Looks like we're gonna make it home for tomorrow night. Yeah, we got our work cut out though, but uh, still, we got our reload. It was a preloaded trailer here at the terminal. I was only like 2.7 kilometers here from the Flying J. I went down to the Flying J and grabbed me a bite to eat. And all that good stuff so here we go and I was able to uh, just go to the terminal and pick up this uh, preloaded trailer and here we are going back home at quarter to two in the afternoon that's right yeah we started quite early this morning so uh, luckily in Canada we have 16 hours to bring in our hours, right? So uh, we can still drive quite a few hours, actually. So we started at, uh, well, just before uh, five o'clock, quarter to five Manitoba time, and it was quarter to four uh, Alberta time. Well, Saskatchewan's got the same time, so it's the same time as them. But uh, yeah, it was quarter to uh, five central time. So that means five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quarter to nine, that's when I have to go off duty. So that means I still have like uh, quite a few hours. Well, it's quarter to two now. So the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually got seven hours that I can bring in yet today. In 800 meters, take the if I really to want to, you know. East Highway to North. But we'll see how far we get. I'm thinking Saskatoon uh, would probably be it. That's about a five and a half hour drive up there. That's exactly where we were this last night at. And I think that would be good enough. I mean, it's quarter to two, so it'd be three, four, five, six, seven. But 7.30ish, I should be there. I think the that should be... Meters. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 16 East Should Highway be good enough. North. And then it's about another nine hours from there to go home, so... <clears throat> Let's say if I... Uh, in Canada, you're only required to have eight hours off. And so if I just take my eight hours off, I can get up real early already and get going. But right here to the right, is the uh, Flying J that I was telling you about. That's where I was at. So, I mean, literally, just around the corner is our uh, terminal, right? So, yeah. Let's get on to Highway 16, Yellowhead Highway Trail. And let's go home. It's a much needed time to go home, right? That's what I would say. Yep. Let's put the hammer down and let's go home, guys. We'll come back to Saskatoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, this is the town that we spent the night in there uh, last night. But hey, here we are again. Yeah. That means we have driven another uh, 
530 kilometers roughly so another five and a half hours in the books so that means we've driven already 11 and a quarter hours yeah we got us uh, another 127 kilometers to go to the place that I have chosen now to stay the night at and uh, yeah I was thinking of staying in the full Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan that night but uh, I think that's going to be a little bit too much yeah I don't think I'm going to make it there uh, I would need another about 20 minutes or maybe even yeah, I would say about 25 minutes I would need on the logbook in order to make it to that full. And that I ain't going to have. So, uh, Keep to the left on Highway 16. so we're going to have to do one town before that. And I know there is a place I can park. I was just thinking about it. Yeah, there is actually a, uh, a place in there that I know for sure you can stay in. So we're going to go drive over there. And uh, call it a day over there I guess so that means another well about an hour and 20 Continue minutes worth of driving that we uh, we have to do yet so or 15 something like that yeah, about an hour and 15 minutes after we get out of here so speed warning so should be all right GPS is screaming speed warning at me and everybody's passing me still <laughs> go figure right look at this guy or lady, whatever it is. They're passing me and whatever, that's the way it is. But here we are in Saskatoon, so scratch me one. That's right. But we're putting the hammer down and we're just barely going to make it to that town that I want to stay in too. So, But that's the only place I can really think of that we can stay in. Unless I find something else that's before that on my way that way. So... We'll put the hammer down. We got good speed limits up here, so I can go a little faster if I need to. Once we get out of town, anyways. Speed warning. <laughs> Why are you still saying speed warning? It's 90 up here already. You're only saying it's 70 speed limit. That's weird. They haven't updated it yet. Oh well. You can't always trust the GPS. It just goes to show you. They don't know everything. They know a lot of things. I gave them that, but they don't know everything. <laughs> yeah, what happened? They used to have cameras right here. They've taken them a while, taken them down. Ha! Huh. That's something new. Right there, when uh, when I saw the plate there, they used to have cameras above there. They had like a big pole that go up, and they had cameras above there. And I guess if you were speeding, they would give you a ticket. That's no longer there anymore. Yeah, well, the better for me, right? <laughs> I guess so but anyways it is starting to go darker and darker I guess I guess before long the Sun is gonna be down and I figure well I need to record another little clip here before uh, the day is over otherwise we'll have a really short video didn't really want that right other thing that I forgot to do yet too was uh, I forgot to update my website I really like to do that. I'm gonna have to do that once I uh, once I stop here tonight. But yeah, I really wanted to go home. I was in a hurry, so as soon as I put her in gear, I thought about it. And I'm like, ah, shit, I needed to do that, you know. But oh well. Now we're on the road, and I can't afford to stop to do that right now. And unless I would have stopped in this town here, then I could have probably done it, but. Then I would have been an hour and 15 minutes short of what I really wanted to do, so that would have meant I would have gotten home later tomorrow probably, so didn't really want to do that, right? So, oh well, you guys are just going to have to wait till later today till you see where, where we're going, and by the time you watch this video, that's already seven days ago, <laughs> so you won't know about it anyways. But yeah, here we are, going home, sweet home. All right, guys. I went ahead and went to bed yesterday just about right away when I 
stopped there in here and got me a good night's sleep so now it's actually the next morning <laughs> but yeah i'm probably looking tired because i just got up so uh this this town is dead quiet guys i got this parking spot all for myself as you can see in the mirror or over there there's absolutely nobody else over here you see that absolutely nobody else very very quiet let's listen you can't really hear anything very nice quiet place to stop at <laughs> and it is Saturday morning so uh, without further ado and without wasting too much time here let's download this video footage into my computer and let's do our logbook and let's get out of here we want to make it home today right so let's do it so have a good one everybody and catch me right away tomorrow and uh you might see some interesting stuff tomorrow you never know right with that being said have a good one and be sure to like share subscribe and all those good things that make us love our job and if you did all of that we appreciate it and we will see you right here tomorrow morning <laughs>